Hi everybody, my name is Jessica Holyfield. I'm a professional dancer, professional dance choreographer, and dance educator based out of the southeast of the United States. And we're taking a look at the elimination battles from Straight Woman Fighter season two. I know this is going to be between Lady Bounce and Mana Queen. I did hear that Wolf Flow was the crew that ranked sixth, so they were automatically eliminated. Part of me wishes that I could have seen a Mana Queen Wolf Flow mashup. That would have been so cool, but I am excited to take a look at some Lady Bounce versus Mana Queen battles. It's going to be great and I'm definitely looking forward to it. Let's get started. Lady Bounce the Mannequin, Mannequin the Lady Bounce the Veteran, Are you guys ready? I'm ready, let's go! Guys, this is such a freaking great track! Oh, Harimu is such a hype woman. To anyone's my group, guys. Mm. Oh, so fun. Hey! And then we got Okay, bringing it. Let's see. So, Mana Queen. I'm a good old fan, a good old to anyone. Here. So they're vibing it out. Vibing it out right here. They're not really doing anything. They're just, you know, setting up the tone. Love it. Body. Can't know about it. Love the outfits. Both outfits are fabulous. I love it with the...
I love it with the with the headphones. They ended up using that kind of imagery throughout the whole thing, especially whenever they got created the line later on. I love that where she's here with the framing of the two, and then you have two more that peeks through the formation. Really fun, great variety of the formations here. So we saw this here where they um they pulled so they pulled the arm so it's kind of a reversal of that kind of flip that was really fun as she's here and she threw it and she's like excuse me <laughs> love that it's fun honestly if lady bounce didn't bring in the way that they did manic queen i mean this would have been a very this is a great competitive set and have they have that here with one of our uh, one of our dancers? So we had one of them fall down as the as the feature was here, and she fell, and then the three joined after my feature branched out to the side. So I think that was super a great choice from them. Minor spacing issues here that you can see from a judge's viewpoint. So that's another thing to notice here is that when you have judges involved, their vantage point does influence what they see and how they see it. So even though it may look nice and spaced out to our Lady Bounce ladies, the judges are the ones who are calling the shots here, right? So I think that those little things could factor in to how this comes across. It is nice and smart of them, however, to not only target Lady Bounce, but to target their judges. It's nice for them to see that. That was really nice, but I think one of them wasn't quite as clean on that framing of Waxy as they could have been. So it is Red Elite that there, that's there. But if you notice that my three, you can tell that they're around the same, but then you have one of them completely bent in her arms. It was just not super clear, a little bit muddled in that section, which could have contributed to, we understand what they were trying to hit, but I don't think they hit it 100% of the way where it was very clear what angles they wanted. I would say this half, it was more clear within their tuts and their angles. Shout out to Hottie Moo for being the best hype woman. I love that, that pull up of that energy because that sound went and it traveled up. So it's nice that they pulled their groove and their energy upward in that section. Yeah, so that section, it could have been a lot, a little bit more cleaner. It was still nice, but it was definitely not as clean as it could have been to really set it apart. I like that when they go up and they drop and then they dip, super fun. I do think Red Elite here is not on the same page on just really minor things, especially there. She's kind of going a different direction or maybe her groove in her pocket slightly different. Nothing major, but it's enough for me to notice, um, especially knowing that she wasn't as clean as a lot of the other ones were, even right here. Everyone's arms are up, hers are not. And I don't think it's because she was the feature. You notice that she had to go up and she's, you know, I think it's just little baby details like that make a huge difference. You know, yeah, she goes, I'm so, so it wasn't an even every other, even though she's in the middle, that can really help, but she's supposed to, I'm so, and she didn't go up and I could see it because I caught it in that stop. But I like the bad, bad, but I'm so good, good, super, super fun. And I know that when they put the headphones on, that's signifying, I believe it was in C, if CL did it in the music video. It's been a long time since I watched it, guys. What was it 2011, 2010, guys. Oh boy, I just dated myself real quick. But yeah, that, I know she ends up putting on headphones for this, or maybe it was in Fire. Guys, I don't know. I think it was like the space version of Fire or something. But anyway, I like I like that where they go do 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 with the very quick with the switching and the bevel of the feet, super nice. And they go around getting to kind of do their own thing. It was really fun. Very strong. Do I think it was the best the best set that they've done? Nah, I don't. I think they it was different. I think they're also sitting a little comfortable here too, right? Because I mean I haven't seen the like the detailed results of who won each match, but I know that they are they're making it sound like if they win this one, Manda Queen wins the eliminations. And what it sounds like, you know? But this song, great song choice. Was it Let's Get Loud, J Lo? I've used this song before. I've done whacking and house to this song. It's a great track for multiple foundations. I love that right there, having one of them, boom, and then the rest of attention is caught. Very fun. 
they get to choose when they want us to see it. How they move. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, there needs to be a compilation of just Hottie Moose hyped up energy for this entire series. That would have been wonderful. Very clean right here. And their commitment to their performance. That one, two. Brilliant from them. And their re repetition of their grooves. And this is where it really works. I love a lot of times when they're sitting and do a groove and they build it and make it bigger. And then they create a gimmick or a disc. We know what that's from. That's from the K-pop challenge. And I love it that they catch that. Mm. Mm. Also know that Lady Bounce is exploring different pockets of the music here in comparison to some of the other battles I've already seen from them. So I really like, I like it and it does matter as you're noticing. And I love it right there, boom, boom. They're having a, look at that, they're taking a very feminine pocket. We're not used to seeing them do that and I love it, it's so fun. It's clean, that right there. Boom, two, and just having the add-on, or not the add-on, having the ripple there and then having them go into the well, super fun. Super cute. It's cute, it's engaging. This right here is I think what sealed the deal for this round for them. Look at, at the clean execution in the slide through. Like just look at this. She slides through and she gets pulled back. It's very important whoever's being slid that she makes it seamless and where where the, she is sliding and then the pullback. This was brilliant. I know we end up seeing this like 15 times. It's one of the things of the you know, <laughs> of the Korean shows is they like to show something very, very many times. But I love it going into the back walkover, super clean. That was a great run from them. I love the look of shock right there. Very strong, even there. Everything that they've done to set up stable and that really helps with how they're doing this forward rolls. Even nice going into the Vogue. They're framing her a little bit more of a salsa. This right here, guys, we know where this comes from. Sarah did it to Ling during the battles. That, this just kills me. It's thriving in disarray is how I would call it. And that's something I feel like Lady Bounce does very well. That right there, even how they're choosing to do a lot of these techniques, that right there, I will say is something super impressive of theirs because a lot of times you don't see groups do these types of very intricate intricate not vibrationary but more like the reverberations the reverbs are really difficult to get right quickly right and i think that just shows the fluency as a group i know the group's been around for a long time with each other they've worked together so they have fingerprints of movement qualities that do overlap and this is one of those things i'm noticing from them and i absolutely love the usage of it here i saw it in their very first round how they hit it at the end. Mm, my only preferential note would be having Biggie in center for that last little bit, but I like the fact they have Vessi there because of that feature, because Biggie does not have a jacket. That's just a preference thing. It doesn't actually matter in this. If I were to pick, I would have picked Lady Bounce for this round because their set was cleaner. They explored more of their music. It, they took a different approach to the track. They also had a couple of diss moments that were well executed and very easy to read. And that's something that you want. It was digestible. It was fun. It made me want to get up there and dance with them, which matched the aesthetic of the track they were doing with Mana Queen. It was really nice to see what they were doing i love the song to anyone can't nobody it's my vibe it's my jam i do think there was a couple of clean issues that i really think cost them the round but also lady bounce brought a gimmick that was different um in creativity in comparison to mana queen so it kind of canceled each other out a little bit there but i think this was a fabulous fabulous round from lady bounce definitely one of my personal favorites thank you guys so much for watching i hope i was helpful in some way i've always always enjoyed watching dance and I've really enjoyed watching Street Woman Fighter season two and these battles are no different. I absolutely love the, the discussions that come about from watching these as well as extra context and insight that a lot of you guys provide for me and it really helps me grow as a dancer and as a human and as somebody who analyzes this stuff. So if you want to see more Street Woman Fighter content whether it's season one season two or Street Man Fighter all of that is starting to be released on YouTube but all of it is there on Patreon for you to view ad-free, whole vibe and a half, and some things that can't make their way to YouTube for copyright reasons are also hanging out over there if you want to go take a look. Thank you guys again for watching. It's always been a pleasure, and I will catch you on the flip side. Bye.